So in this episode, what I'd like to talk to Sarah about is CRN events. You know, what events are out there that we should go to? Why should we go to them? How do we access them? So, you know, I suppose the first thing is, is it the website or social media? Give, give us a few ideas, Sarah. It's, it's a mix of everything, really. If you register for um, the CRN uh, newsletters, you, mm. you'll get all the information there. Okay. And uh, there's regular communication coming out from, mm. from the marketing department. But mm -hmm. um, keep an eye on social media, mm -hmm. um, at CRN underscore UK. Okay. Twitter handle. That's good. Um, and, and LinkedIn, we're on there as well. So, and mm. I'm always banging on about the event. So, uh, you know, if, if you don't see CRN doing it, you'll mm. definitely catch me mm. banging on about and it. And are the events, uh, you know, are they global? Are they UK? Are they weird? The first one is the CRN Sales and Marketing Awards, um, which takes place in July. And um, that's very UK based. We're encouraging people to enter from the UK. Um, again, the Channel Awards, which takes place in November, is again UK based. So, again, please, please enter that. And the third one that I've been working on is called the European Channel Leadership Forum. And as the title suggests, that is um, with a European flavour. So we're hoping to get people coming from all over Europe to, to the event. Um, it will take place in London, but there will be uh, lots of European people there. So for the other events, um, CRN does have a sister title called Channelnomics. And they run events in the US. So for all the events that those two brands do that I don't get involved with, I would say contact the editorial teams, CRN obviously run by Doug Woodburn, and uh, speak to the events teams on both those brands. How long do they last for? And most importantly, is the good grub? <laughs> There's always good grub at CRN events, absolutely, yes. And, but um, they're a day's affair or two days or...? They're, at the moment, they're a day. They're a day or, or a morning. So the, the conferences that, that CRN does are, you know, some are a morning, some are a full day. Mm -hmm. But the difference, I'll say, with CRN events and maybe some of the vendor events that, that are on is the speakers are very much conditioned to mm. talk about things that are beneficial and not just pitch. Yeah. So that's really important for people Absolutely. coming along that um, mm. they realise that they will get something out of the day and they'll mm. they'll learn some stuff and mm. you know make, meet some new contacts. Mm. And, and are, are they every week or every month or what's the frequency of the events? Oh, we've got. I think there's conferences. Are, I think there's three or four conferences in the year. Um, it, they're not sort of set to the calendar, as it were. Mm. But, um, you know, there's always some going. There's one in October. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, something in the summer. There's lots of webinars and things going mm. on throughout the year okay. as well. Yeah, so that's good. That's there's good. always something to uh, tune mm. into and all the research and, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, I've always been very impressed, obviously, with the good self, but, uh, you know, any compares, they, so they've really done the work beforehand, you know, and, and at the events, I think they're, they're, they are educational. But equally, you know, uh, let's not forget, if you go to the events, you're gonna be rubbing shoulders with similar types of people, in the breaks you can you know share ideas and I, I personally have always come away with some really good ideas and good thoughts as to what to implement yeah. in my business so. so in the next episode what we're going to talk about is actually Sarah has written a book let's hear about it